one more battle, one more pirate ship destroyed, and we found some wheat seeds. Great. And with this, we are now able to research at the bottom wheat farming and processing, which gives you access to the bread and will be also necessary for a few other things. We can also do the organic fertilizer. Unfortunately, we still can't do the corn seeds because we don't have corn seeds. <laughs> Welcome back to Captain of Industry Update 2. We've already made quite a bit of progress. It's actually episode 10, so it's going to be a big one, including a huge surprise at the end, so stay tuned for this. In the last episode, we made a lot of progress. In particular, we improved our ship with some weapons and some armor plating. And so I've been able to do a couple of fights. You can see we have discovered a few more places, including a first mine. We have discovered a sulfur mine. I have also already fixed one of the ship, but let me show you very quickly how to do it. Basically, you need to find one. Over here, for example, we found one damaged cargo ship. Then you click on Start Repair. We're going to, by the way, also do the same for the oil rig. So let's click Start Repair. Then you go into your shipyard over here and you need to click on Start Loading the Ship, right? So it's going to load some material. It means, you know, we need to start some trucks are going to come to deliver this. And when this is full, the ship will be able to go deliver it. I'll show you that in a second. We're going to do um, this one first and then I'll do the oil rig. While this is happening, if you look at the mission, we're going to need to repair the oil rig and then we're going to need to build a cargo depot. So I've slotted one over here. Let's quick deliver, you know, so we don't lose any time. Now, it's important that for all of those cargo ships, you're going to need to be able to go into the sea, right? So it's not possible to put them over here. There's no space. But over there, we're starting to create a nice line where we're going to be able to put a couple. You're definitely not going to be able to put them, you know, next to each other like this. But we could probably put you know, another one somewhere over here. Then we can probably put some more, another one somewhere over here, etc, etc. Right? We will be able to put a few more for sure. There are some people that prefer, you know, to create what I call JTs, right? You would basically do something like this. Let me give you, uh, you know, you do a bit something like this and then you put one on this side, one on that side. But I'm not a huge fan. Maybe we'll do that in the future. So here it is, we have our first cargo ship that has arrived and that name was already claimed by Arukaratas, if I'm not mistaken, sorry if I'm butchering your name, but basically you said you wanted HK1, so here it is, you have HK1, the first ship is for you. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below everybody else if you want also your name on a ship or uh, it's a bit easier if you tell me on a truck, you know, there's a few more. Okay, so here it is, downloading cargo for damaged cargo ship, right? It's on board over here, so you go back to the map and you click deliver cargo. It's going to take a minute as always, but then instead of having one ship available, we're going to have two. And while this is happening, now we can start loading the construction parts. So while we're waiting, let's talk a bit more about those cargo depots. First of all, this is a cargo depot level 2. You can have level 2, 4, 6 and 8. This is basically the number of modules that you can put on it. So obviously also if you're planning to have a big one, like an 8, um, you need to have the space. Now the reality is we'll probably <laughs> rebuild this by the time we want to go to 8, but still, you may want to plan for this then all the time you will also have one uh, input. This is for your diesel because obviously all of your ships will need some diesel to do their journeys. You can see over here you know, it says 60 per single journey. You can also reduce it by making it go longer instead of three months. For example, it's going to take six months and in this case it's only 42. All right, so you may want to do this. But then the key thing is obviously, yes, you need to put some modules. So similar to a bit everything in the game, you will have three types. You will have the fluid one, the loose. So when we say loose, we are talking about things like coal, iron, etc. Right? Like these are loose materials. And then the unit ones, this is more kind of like iron, uh, wood, or those type of things. So in this case, obviously, we want fluid. So let's... Uh, Put two because that's the mission <laughs> we can build them done and we can see also that the ship has delivered everything so he's over here while he's here maybe let's send it somewhere you know to explore before it comes back we have also delivered i think all of the construction parts so that's great and now as you can see we have two ships so what I can do now is I have a second one of these because I have a second ship, right? If I want to. Um, 
talking about the second one, I think actually I'm going to tell them to focus on this part for a couple of minutes just to make this uh, clean. Okay, so with this, we'll soon be able to move with this mission. Even if, to be honest, I don't really need it. I have already, you know, we still have 6% of oil over here. And more importantly, if I look there, right, we have still 96%. So we're good. <laughs> we have, you know, all of this working okay -ish right now. That's not a problem. We are making, you know, more and more concrete slab. So I think what we're going to do is also start moving this into concrete slab. So the way I'm going to do this is for now, I'm going to put it off completely, right? So they are not able to deliver any. This is off, so that's fine. I'm going to make sure that this is also off. And then I'm going to put an alert to tell me when actually this one is empty. This way, when this is empty, I'll just switch it, you know, to concrete and then we can move to concrete. Good. I will also use this time now to upgrade at least one of these to level two, right? Because we don't have that many. We have what, 600, 200, so it'd be great to have a bit more storage, make a bit more. Another great thing is that the bridge to the other side of the map, to the other big island of Paris, has been done. Now, it has been done in the sense that we can reach over here the sand, but to be honest, it's not really finished because it would take me years and years to go through all of this sand and all of this mountain to reach this place, right? So instead, we basically need to continue this bridge either this side or that side. I've chosen that side for now. It may have been a mistake. I don't know. We'll see. I don't really need it yet, but soon, as I said in the past, you know, I think I want to make this my farm area. So it would be great. Now we do have a the mountain there that's a bit annoying and i don't know at what level we are there actually what is that is that plus three? Oh, that's great so i will definitely need to do a bit of terraforming but not that much actually oh and one more battle this time two ships but as you can see we were definitely stronger so victory and we have discovered with this the soybean seeds great this is a bit further over here, right? We're not there yet. We would need you know, to have done this research over here, for example, but it's not that far. Okay, it is. Our ship is delivering to the oil rig. Uh, it's gonna take, as always, a minute. Let's uh, go three speeds, <laughs> a bit faster. And done. So now we have an oil rig. This is paused right now. It has quite a few things. First of all, you can see that if you want to make it work, you're gonna need 36 people. So it's not cheap. It also does cost unity, right? Then based on this, you know, it's gonna produce. In this case, you know, with 36 people and 0.8 unity, it's only 54. So remember 54, that's one of those line, or to say differently, it's one of these, meaning it's 36 diesel. Right? So it's not huge, like let's be honest, <laughs> it's not huge. It also does cost maintenance, right? So it's, it's definitely not free. And then the last challenge with all of this, it's, it's actually also limited. So similar to the oil deposit we have on our own island, this is also limited. Now it's very different though, I mean we're talking about 1 million <laughs> of crude oil. So at this rate of 54, this is actually 1,600 years. So it's definitely a lot bigger. You won't have a problem tomorrow. But again, I want to highlight that it's not free. It's gonna take you uh, a lot of resources to do it in particular because we probably want more than 54 per minute, which means we're gonna need to upgrade it. So click on upgrade. <laughs> then this is basically the same where you're gonna, gonna need to deliver those resources. And then when you do upgrade it, we're gonna move from level two to level four. So in this case, you know, it's gonna start delivering basically double. That could be, a bit closer to what we need but that will also mean that it's gonna cost more people and more unity again so yeah it's not a free meal ladies and gents <laughs> having said that you know we need to do it for the mission so we're gonna do it for the mission let's uh, load on the ship those 200 additional ones i see that my bricks are slowly but surely being uh, you know empty so that's great anyway i will do it manually okay good and then we're going to make this one happen this one happen and this one good okay 
And here it is, the first ship has come back and, you know, it's currently delivering the, this was in the ship. Now it's getting into this and then, you know, a truck can come and deliver it here. Now, we're, to be honest, we're going to then just stop it <laughs> because um, I don't need it right now. But it got us 40 of those gold parts. That's great. We're going to, as I said, just pause this one. But I did wanted to show you that indeed, you know, if you move to four time, you obviously double the production, but you also double the unity consume and the people there. So you have to be careful. And then the next upgrade is actually construction part level three, which is coincidentally the next thing we should be focusing on. Uh, before we do, let me just send my ship uh, where oh, it's, uh, I guess, yeah, being repaired. Okay. So yes, construction part level three or red one, like I like to call them. So how do we do this? Well, if you, oops, uh, if you copy one of these and we look, this is construction part level two plus steel. Steel we haven't started to make, right? So we're going to need to start making this. We haven't locked it there. Like steel is melting, so that's not a problem. But indeed, we have also unlocked, by the way, assembly level three. But this will require those right parts. So let me just take this out. We have also unlocked a couple of other things. Like, for example, we have a bigger mixer instead of level one. It's now level two, which is linked to, you know, basically doubling everything. You can see everything is double, right? So it's more for space than anything else. It does cost less people, right? This is four. This is seven. So if you double, you know, you should be at eight. Uh, the electricity is double and the maintenance is double. And then over here, we have also unlocked, by the way, a mixer, which is where we can mix a couple of things. We'll talk about this a bit more in the future. But more importantly, it's over here, right? We used to have only the metal caster. Now we have this oxygen furnace where we're going to take the molten iron. So it's the same as before, right? We're going to start with the blast furnace to make molten iron. But then instead of having normal iron, we're going to add oxygen to it. And that's going to give us molten steel. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's also dividing by two, right? 24 to 12, so that's not so great. And then we're going to need to put this molten steel into a cool caster, which uses also a bit more of water to make this steel. So yeah, more iron needed. So it's a good thing we're getting close to finish over here, right? We're going to start potentially this one there to make steel for a factory. So let me prepare this and with the power of editing, you'll see me and done. The steel factory, as promised, is basically ready over here. But before we have a problem, I mean, not a problem, we were ready for it, but still is that there's no more oil into this deposit over here, right? It has actually even disappeared from the map, as you can see. So, you know, there's nothing else to be done than to delete all of these at this point. There is still a bit in uh, the pipe, so we're going to leave, you know, these ones going for a second. But I do want to highlight that it does create a problem. <laughs> problem being that, first of all, a uh, rubber factory was based on this diesel over here. And second, you know, we had the station too, right? So now the only station is all the way over here. And this, by the way, is where we're making also <laughs> diesel. So, you know, you could have a couple of options. You could, for example, decide to put a station more towards the middle over here in uh, the city. I think what we're going to do for now is just say that this should be the, you know, getting diesel, at least for the time being. <laughs> and then uh, we'll figure this out a bit later. <laughs> Now, more importantly, and sorry, maybe I should also unpause the third one for sure. Uh, I don't know if we're going to need even more than three, but at least three is a start. So steel, steel is ready over here. Now, this is not the biggest one. Of course, this is the steel level one, right? but we have enough to get started. I have 80 of unity. Mm, that could be enough to build the whole thing. Let's see. Yes, love it. So we use half of our unity and almost all of our gold parts. Great. But everything is being built. Love it. So what is going to happen? Well, we're going to take some iron ore. We're going to take some coal, right? That's going to go at level zero and level one into these two. 
into these two over here that are going to transform it into molten iron right we have also in this case over here some slag being created goes in the middle goes all the way back over here and we need to empty it that's an easy one no problem then we have also on the outside right the exhaust so then this molten right we're making 24 will go directly into just one oxygen furnace because that's 24 it will take also some oxygen as the name suggests so the way i made it pretty clean in my opinion is you can see it's over here right we have the oxygen there we're sending into the atmosphere all of the nitrogen it doesn't pollute so that's not a problem and we're sending all of the oxygen here in the middle right level one and then it drops there and there so that's making some molten steel and a bit more exhaust so that's why you can see on the outside here we have the exhaust pipe that's linking to the exhaust of the furnace into one smoke stack right and this molten steel then goes into this one over here right it's just in the middle here and we'll be using a bit more water so that's why we also have a water fluid storage here this goes at level two before dropping there and then perfectly align to one unit storage. So yeah, I mean, here it is. We see the first resource is coming. So that should be starting. Here it is. We have some molten that has been created. It's not enough yet for the recipe, but it's a start. And the reason it's not enough, by the way, is because I'm showing everything in two minutes. But if you unclick this one, you will see that this is a 20 second one, right? That's creating basically eight. In this case here, this is actually using 16 uh, with a 40 second, right? So that's why basically I need to wait for two. Now we have the animation starting. Look at this, it's so cool. This is so beautiful, this game. Here it is. Oof. Give me some Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. oxygen, I guess, is being pushed here. You can see this is the pipe of oxygen going there. And soon we're going to make some molten steel. You can check this is actually made by eight. It should be fine. Oof, here it is. So it's still molten but now it's molten steel that's going to come out okay come to me and done we're gonna have a first steel that is going to come in and so with this we will be able to start making construction parts level three so i'm gonna build this in a second first i see we have a lot of problems what's happening oh that's not good we're low on coal. Why? Hmm. That's strange. Not strange. To make sure to dig for sure, but uh, there's still. Uh, I mean, we're getting close to the point where we're gonna need to start digging lower, but still. That is strange. So there's coal here. That's fine, right? The coal here is fine-ish. It's fine-ish here. Yeah. And there we do uh, fine. Okay. Uh, hopefully that's going to do it pretty quickly. Now the concrete is empty. Why? Is it just that I don't have any trucks right now? Yeah, I think my trucks are very busy. I don't have enough trucks for what I'm doing. So that's just the problem. Okay. Well, we'll wait. That's fine. Okay, the coal is fine. What's happening over here? This is full of dirt. So did we finish? No, we didn't finish. Again, I think it's just a problem of a couple of trucks right now. Too busy. Uh, and a couple more trees here. Done. Okay. Oh, we're not recycling. Interesting. I've started to do a lot more of these ones over here these will require for pretty much all of them it will require construction part level three so we need to be ready for this but it's good to do the research right there's no reason not to do the research and by the way you can see we're gonna unlock soon the large vehicles 
that take vehicle parts and steel and glass. We don't have glass yet. We could buy it. But, you know, it may be why my <laughs> logistics are getting a bit in trouble right now. It's because of this. I think it's also because I started sending some uh, diesel here. So that's taking a while. Okay, so this seems to be empty. Let's delete. Same here. This one is also empty now. Still colored, but empty. So I guess it means it's got empty pretty recently now there is no there's just a bit of crude oil there and yeah, we don't really have a choice to just delete all of this let's go clean this part we don't need this anymore either okay i'm gonna use a bit of unity because of the fact that my truck are extremely busy right now. What could be the problem, ladies and gents? Uh, transporting water, that's never good. Yeah, a couple of problems. Uh, let's continue to delete this and all of this. But more importantly, we have started to make red parts now, right? We're delivering, or I've built, you know, this new piece over here where we're delivering steel, we've started to make steel, that's great. And we are adding, of course, our construction part level two to make those construction part level three. Now with assembly level two, you will only make three construction part level three per minute. So that's not so great, but also soon we can move to assembly level three. It will take some steel and some of those red parts, but in the last few minutes, we've started to make some. And actually, you know, if you look over here, it's looking pretty good, right? We are um, back to full, you know, in potatoes and vegetables. We are pretty full on everything else. Our concrete slabs and steel are increasing. So, you know, everything is pretty good right now. Now, of course, it's not like I can just wait forever because, you know, I'm consuming resources. For example, I'm slowly but surely destroying this uh, iron mountain there, or more importantly, you know, the coal is slowly but truly being empty over there but you know we have actually at least finished over here the retaining wall so we could start going a bit lower too and slowly but surely our bridge there is getting built now i mentioned a surprise at the beginning of the episode given that we are on episode 10 and that we have sort of completed all of the basic factories i think it's a great time for me to give you on my discord community one zip file with all of the blueprints that you need for the early game I've created, for example, three furnace blueprints. We have the copper, copper and iron, and steel. Then we have the maintenance blueprint, right, that we've been using. We have also diesel, the basic diesel, right, the level one that we were using for a while. Also crude oil, right, if you want to quickly put a number of crude oil pumps, that's an easy one. And finally, the diesel level two that we have now constructed then the basic electricity layout that's definitely producing enough for us right now a basic sorter layout right with just four deposits a concrete level one deposit and again if you're wondering i did create all of these myself these are not stolen from somebody else and then finally on our bus right or different small buses in the future we'll create one gigantic bus but right now basically what i did is we have one for research and vehicle this is over here you have one that was construction part level 1 and 2, if you haven't unlocked yet level 3, and then one that has two, 1, 2, and 3. So this way you have for your league game all of the blueprints I've been using here if you want to use them and recreate them. Whatever episode you're watching, you can just click on the video description below over here and you will see a link to my Discord community there. Click on it and then going into the Captain of Industry blueprint page, you will be able to find all of my blueprint from the previous season, but there will also be one new one with all of those early game update to blueprints. Don't hesitate to tell me also if you have any questions, photo requests for the future episodes, smash the like button and I hope to see you next time.